Hello all, I'm glad that you're here. We're gonna do just a little day in the life vlog today and at some point I'll talk about where I am right now in this current pregnancy and maybe we'll find some activities to do because I think it's meant to rain today. I just wanted to do something really low key. I feel like the last few videos have been a lot of like cleaning videos and I just don't want to put in the effort. What? Do you want to say hi? Yeah. Okay. We've watched three episodes of Mickey Mouse, haven't we? Yeah. Because who's in the show that you like so much? Yeah. You don't want to talk about Minnie Mouse? Yeah. This is his favorite gal. I had to buy some new cups for him because his straw cups broke. So I ordered some munchkin cups off of Amazon and they had three different color packs and I let him choose and he picked the purple and pink cup pack. And I think it's Yay. because it matches Minnie Mouse. <gasps> what did you bring? Ah. There's Minnie Mouse again. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna dump the cars out. Because I am still drinking my coffee. I don't leave the couch space. So he brings toys to me until my coffee is done. But we're gonna get no, upstairs no, and get dressed no, soon. No. What, baby? Hey. Right. No. We don't wanna dump the people out, do we? Da, 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 da. Down, 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 down. No, no, no. What? Da, 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 da. What do you mean? Uh, you wanna play chase? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you want me to chase you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Want me to chase you? You want me to put the camera down? Yeah. Can I just say some things real quick and then I'll chase you? Yeah. Yeah. So went upstairs to go get dressed. Someone did not want to get dressed, but he does have boots on. Can she see your boots? Yeah. You don't want to show me your boots? He got them taken away from him last night because he kicked the dog. So he just got them back this morning. So we'll see how he does with it. He did not want to put on clothes, so we did bring some clothes downstairs. He was very excited that him and mummy are both wearing dresses, <laughs> so. Yeah, mom. I know you want to play Chase. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you got to hold on one second. I'm almost done. Mama. I know we're practicing being patient. Yeah, mama. Yeah. He also doesn't like it when I talk to like my mom, mama, she's here. Mama, mama, mama. Listen, the louder you are, the longer this is going to take. I know, it's so hard. I'm gonna clean the kitchen and the dining room. It is Monday, so it is kitchen, dining room, chicken day. I'm not gonna do la, la, any, la, la, la. I know, the baby. I'm not gonna do any time la, lapse la, la. of the cleaning, but I will give you yeah. a little snap cleaning uh, just to get through it. But first, I guess we're gonna play Chase. Yeah. You better get out of here. Get back here. <laughs> Dig, dig! We have cleaned the kitchen and the dining room. They were actually not that messy, which I was very surprised. And I apparently have been keeping up with cleaning in that area. So, Mama. well then. Yeah, you got your car. Refused to put on shorts. That's okay, it's fine. We did the clean of the living room, right? We cleaned up our toys and mommy vacuumed. So that way we can watch our movie and get ready for nap time. Hopefully he will fall asleep during the movie because I am like done. I woke up with like zero patience today. The last two nights he has woken up at 2 a.m. and come and got into our bed after like a week of sleeping in, like sleeping until like 7, 7.30, so. I woke up with no patience at all, so I'm hoping that nap time goes really smoothly, so that way I can like refocus. And uh, make the second half of the day great. Someone is coming this afternoon. Hopefully, Grammy is coming. She had to like clean up some bits and bobs because my brother is on a short leave from the Navy and he'll be here on Friday. So she wants to get like her house sorted, which like understandable, but come hang out with my kid. Because uh, I am uh, 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 he doesn't come out, bud, does he? I don't think he comes out. Oh, 
Nikki. Owen went upstairs and took a nap and I thought that I was gonna have time to just like relax and spend some, some time by myself. I was gonna give myself that permission to not do anything and to just sit and relax. Not doom scroll on TikTok, but just sit and relax. Maybe have a snack, maybe watch something on TV, maybe even play The Sims, I haven't played that in months and months. And in the middle of that, during Owen's nap, a stranger on a motorcycle drove halfway up our driveway, looked at our house and then left. It's very odd. So I spent the rest of Owen's nap pretty much on the phone with Dave going over our security cameras. Cool. We're just gonna talk real quick about the pregnancy. I'm gonna yell from here. Okay, so I am 28 weeks and four days. I am officially in the third trimester. I am finally not getting nosebleeds every single night. The baby is moving a lot more and more consistently and I can feel like a leg like sticking me in the side. Like I could feel them moving and stuff like that. But now I can feel when like there's a leg stretched out just poking me on the side of the belly. So I know in the next few weeks, that feeling is going to be up in my ribs. It's already like down. That happened today. It's not good. It's not good. That uh, that lightning crotch. Not fun. Come on, come on. No. So, third trimester is officially here. Not getting nosebleeds. Feeling a lot more movement. Definitely harder to fall asleep. It's hard to get into a comfortable position. I want to start getting back into yoga because I am not flexible at all. And I think that some yoga, like very, very simple yoga moves would help with sleeping. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> so yeah, so more uncomfortable, definitely not drinking enough water, gotta do that. I've got the glucose appointment on Friday, so gotta drink the glucose drink, which honestly wasn't that bad last time. And I got the same flavor this time around, so. I think it'll be fine. It'll be like it was before. Yeah. That new little arts drawer thing I put in there is starting to come in handy. So do you want to do some coloring? Okay, stopped vlogging yesterday because Owen and I had gone outside because it's like, oh, rain clouds are coming in. I wanna get him outside real quick before it starts raining. And then when we looked over, Dave was at the neighbor's house. So Owen wanted to go see Dave. So we went over to our neighbors. He got to play with their kids. He did so well playing with their kids. And then the sky just opened up and it dumped on us. So we went inside at our neighbor's house, hung out for a little bit, ordered Chinese for dinner and while we were waiting for them to get here, Dave was monitoring the DoorDash app and noticed that they were stopped for a little bit. So he called the Dasher and was like, hey, you haven't moved in a while, are you all right? They had gone off the road, like not even a mile from our house, not even a half a mile from our house, gone off the road and they were like, well, you can come grab the food if you want to have hot food. And he was like, well, I can just go and I could try to pull you out too. So he went, pulled out the dasher, grabbed our food. We had Chinese last night. I've noticed that with this pregnancy, there are some foods that I've really loved that just make me feel sick. Like I haven't thrown up or anything, but just some foods just do not sound good to me. And it's really sad because one of my favorite Indian dishes just it just makes me queasy and I don't know what it is and it makes me sad. So I've been experimenting with new Indian dishes because my favorite one doesn't make me feel good. 
and usually I'm super excited to eat it. Just the thought of it makes me not feel good. So hopefully that will just be a pregnancy thing and that's not gonna hold over <laughs> after the baby is here. Because another thing that's been happening this pregnancy is that I have a crazy sensitive gag reflex brushing my teeth especially and i think it's because sometimes when you're pregnant you make a lot of saliva and i think that that is making me gag so bad i'm surprised i haven't puked while brushing my teeth and i hope i hope that this isn't for the rest of my life i hope it's just for this pregnancy so next week we're going camping and this week i've kind of lost all motivation if you've been watching my cleaning videos you'll see that i've just like not wanted to do stuff i thought that maybe it was just because of the added steps of getting a camera set up and trying to get lighting right, which I know I did not get the lighting right in either of those cleaning videos, but I don't think that that's it. I just think that I'm in like a lull of motivation. So I'm making a list for things to get and to do before we go camping next week, because now I have a deadline to get some stuff done. So if I can see like, I need to get these things done, like all this house prep stuff, cause I like to come back home to a clean house that will hopefully motivate me next week when there is a deadline. Currently having lunch, Owen is napping, my mom is here for the day. She's out right now taking care of the chickens. I told her and Dave, uh, last month I have decided that I do not want to have chickens once the baby gets here because I do the majority of the chicken care and I cannot see myself mentally getting through taking care of the chickens and a baby. So I told Dave, I do not want chickens or you can take over all of the chicken responsibilities. And my mom was the one who got the chickens, so I told her the same thing. I don't want these chickens, and I want them gone by November, because my due date is November 25th. And she said that she would take them. They're gonna find a way to collect the chickens. They're gonna try to also transport the coop, and they are gonna go to my mom's house. One day, maybe we'll have chickens again. I want a new coop anyway, and I just don't want toddlers while taking care of chickens. Like this is the first time I've ever had chickens and just was not ready for that responsibility. Didn't go out and get these chickens myself. So mom's gonna take the chickens. I think we're gonna do that in a couple weeks. So bye bye chickens. But I'll still be able to reap the benefit of eggs because mom will still bring us some eggs from the chickens. So it's kind of a win situation for me, feeling great about it. That's enough chit chat. I'm gonna eat an entire pasta side sachet to myself and continue making this list. Dave's upstairs right now getting Owen in jammies and I feel like I've just done nothing <laughs> like all day long even though I know I do get like some stuff done puttering around and cleaning and stuff. Super unmotivated. I think it's fine. Either way, I'm gonna end this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. If you made it to the end, don't forget to like and subscribe. It's free. There's another video for you right there if you need more. And don't forget to check out my podcast, Case of the Mom Days, found wherever you get your podcasts.